Hi, it's Mohammed here, and today I want to share with you five important lessons to take into 2021. As we all know, 2020 was a challenging year. COVID hit and everybody suffered. Some people suffered on a personal level and some people's businesses suffered. So hopefully these five lessons that I want to share with you can help you crush 2021. Let's look at lesson number one, and that is to be prepared. It's critical and important that we are always prepared, especially if we are business owners, entrepreneurs, business leaders, we need to be planning ahead of schedule and being pre prepared for different situations, different scenarios. A strategy that you can use is called scenario planning. Scenario planning is quite simple. Consider a particular scenario. So this is, if everything goes well, this is what the scenario would look like. Then consider what would happen if things changed adversely. So negative impacts to the business, what would happen? What would you need to do in the business to keep the business operating smoothly? So that's the first scenario that you can look at based on your original. Then create a, another scenario, right? What if things took off for the business and you know was uh, in a positive way, right? Above what we had originally planned. How do we pivot? How do we prepare for and how do we set the business up to deal with those kind of scenarios? So scenario planning is basically looking at a plan, but then looking at contingencies that may happen along the way. Negative contingencies, positive contingencies as well. But ultimately, the aim here is to always be prepared. Lesson number two, and that is to identify new opportunities, right? As we all know, when COVID hit, some businesses were able to prosper and they pivoted their business and others struggled to find their feet for a long period of time. Some businesses are still struggling today. And that's because they were not able to identify any new opportunities within their business, within their market, and also sometimes outside of their market. Here's an example I'm gonna share with you. Um, this particular business was a, an events, uh, they focused on events. They provided the staging, the light rigging, the visual audio setups for uh, events, uh, such things like, such as concerts and shows and large scale uh, you know, public events. When COVID hit, their business was literally shut down because no one was having any, there was no live events any longer and people were forced into isolation. So what this business decided to do was to go back and look at what opportunities there were. And they then identified an opportunity to create these stand-up desks because everybody was transitioning to work from home uh, arrangements. Stand-up desks became popular because people were now buying all these things for, for their house so that they could work uh, better from home. And the stand-up desk became popular and it took off and they were able to, you know, sustain themselves, sustain the business, re, you know, retrain some of their staff and maintain majority of their staff. Um, and that was because they were able to identify a new opportunity. And that was an opportunity very different from their you know, core business. So very important to be open to new opportunities, new revenue streams, new, new thinking, new ideas. Uh, at times it also means be open to taking risks. Lesson number three, this is a very important one, and that is to prioritize your health and self-care, right? As we all know again, and I'm gonna be referencing, you know, 2020 and COVID a lot, because that affects um, a lot what, what, what happened, um, you know, and, and the lessons that we learned from that, was health and self-care. People were neglect, neglecting their, their health, right? Working from home, it was easy to run to the kitchen and grab a snack. Um, you know, and, and eat all the wrong foods. Uh, because of isolation, we couldn't go out to you know, our gyms and train regularly. And then also uh, mentally, a lot of people were affected mentally by being you know, cooped up at home. And also you know, because a lot of people lost their jobs, a lot of people had to change their work arrangements and their hours were cut. So they were struggling to make uh, you know, mortgage repayments and paying other bills. So major and important lesson there is prioritize your health and self-care. Consider and, and look at, you know, implementing those, uh, you know, training and exercise 
regimes into what you're currently doing. You're working from home, so it may makes it easier for you to maybe go and take a five minute walk outside, get some fresh air. You might be able to do some mindfulness exercises as well. Clear your mind, focus yourself a little clearer. So a very important lesson. Lesson number three, prioritize your health and self care. Lesson number four, harness technology. And, and you know, for a lot of people, they had to really, um, you know, upskill in using platforms such as Zoom and, you know, team meetings and a range of other tools. When they were in their office, their, their computer systems and their desktops may have had all the tools and technology already built in. When they transitioned to work from home, they, they had to purchase new laptops, they had to get new software. This is where, you know, you're harnessing technology to, to be able to leverage and help you do your job better and more efficiently is essential. So, you know, what can you do to, um, to harness technology and work better? For business owners, this is critical and important. Technology is, is, uh, is being improved constantly and digital marketing now with, you know, with COVID is critical essential if you're not able to market your business in, on a, in a digital form you're going to be left behind so ensuring that you're again harnessing technology uh, an example of that was we do some videos and we do some live streams and we realized that some platforms were not benefiting from those live streams so we had to go out and find uh, you know a technology a platform that would allow us to be able to um, uh, stream our content live simultaneously to a range of platforms um, uh, in, in real time. So again, you know, even we had to go out and you know, find this new technology and then harness this technology to you know, advance our reach to our customers and also our, to our uh, uh, prospects as well. And then very lastly, lesson number five, and that is to build a resilient team. And to build a resilient team incorporates really the top four lessons as well because to build a resilient team you need to be prepared you need to have the right plans in place you need to have the right strategy in place when you have those then teamwork becomes easier everyone's on the same page everyone knows what's happening what's going on because there's a plan in place and you're prepared for you know different situations different scenarios when an opportunity arises and you've got your team behind you you guys can pivot the team can then work towards you know implementing these new opportunities new strategies as well a resilient team as well your team members have a wealth of knowledge and experience they may have you know ideas and other opportunities that they might be able to share with the team as well very importantly like i mentioned which was uh, lesson number three health and self-care you know take care of your team members take care of your colleagues you know, reach out to a team member, ask them, are they okay? Are they, you know, especially with the way ch the changes, working from home, you know, maybe their hours were cut as well. So it's very important when you're building a resilient team and, and looking out for your team that you also ensure that they, you know, they're looking, ca taking care of themselves and you also there to be able to be, to support them, you know, when, when, you know, they might be struggling as well. And again, technology to be able to leverage the tools uh, you know uh, zoom meetings and Google Hangouts or whatever technology is being used this is where you, you your team um, bonding comes into place and the development of your team being able to uh, communicate each other when they're not physically present hosting meetings and events and how do you interact with each other um, when, when there's when you don't have that physical uh, interaction as well so it's very important when you're building a resilient team as well to ensure that the, the technology is supporting that development of that team and ensuring that you can work efficiently and effectively as a unit as well so there you have it these here are what I consider some of the five important lessons that we picked out of 2020 through this you know COVID world moving into 21 that we can definitely improve on and that can help you crush 2021.